such as Stephen P's do better. <laughs> Update the progress bar for their guys right now i'm headed to fleet library which is RISD's library the rhode island school of design a really good art school just down the hill from brown for a little study session gonna be there for a few hours before i have class again at three okay i have to figure out how to get there <laughs> vlogging and walking this is a new thing for me basically brown is on a hill i'm walking down the hill all the way to the building over there to get to the library. Wow, I sound so out of breath. really getting out of my comfort zone doing this. If you haven't noticed, the quality of this video has changed. I've gotten a... I don't know why I just do that. If you've watched my previous vlogs, you can tell that this camera is much better. Like, look at the focus on this. Yeah, I got a new camera and also a tripod to go with it. And it's just been very nerve-wracking bringing it around. But I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone a little bit doing this. I'm trying to tell myself that no one cares. But um, it's hard. There's just so many people walking around like right now behind me too. And it's like freaking me out. I also went to the mailroom earlier before this and I got a little letter from my sister. We always send stickers to each other. I sent me this huge Patagonia one and then these other ones. I don't know what this is. Handies? <laughs> oh, this is so cute. <gasps> she put this together for me. Okay. <laughs> Funny that she actually said this. She asked, have you tried your new camera yet? Have you planned some videos? I'm excited to see what you do with the new camera. It's about time a new YouTube video is released. And I'm actually filming on the new camera right now. A letter is coming your way soon. home last night because I have a few scheduled appointments today to go to. I have an eye appointment and a dentist appointment and then I'm going to head back later tonight. Anyways, I wanted to open a fun and exciting package with you guys that I got from Ana Luisa. I've gotten some jewelry from Ana Luisa in the past. I think my favorite has to be their earrings though. I wear them in the shower. I wear them when I go to the gym and they haven't tarnished. 
so let's see what's in this package. So the first thing I got are these hoop earrings. I think they're just like the perfect size for everyday wear. Got these mini huggies. It's a little thicker if you can tell. I think that makes like a cuter statement. And then one more pair of earrings here. I really like this one. They are such a statement piece. And then the last thing I got was a gold bangle. Oh my gosh, I actually really like this. This is how the bangle looks. Honestly, really love it. I can definitely picture myself wearing this every day. Thank you so much, Ana Luisa, for sending this beautiful jewelry. If you're interested in checking out more of the jewelry, I have a link in my description box down below. I stole this cardigan actually from my mom's closet this morning and I'm not sure if I will be giving it back. My white jeans and then of course I got my new jewelry. Okay. I have to go to my eye appointment. Good morning, guys. Oh, exactly 9 a.m. I was supposed to wake up at 7, get to breakfast at 7.30, and then be here by 8. But things just did not go according to plan, and I took longer getting ready than expected. I did my makeup and I also curled my hair. You know what? I was like, you know, if I put in this extra effort to feel good and look good today, I'm going to do better. <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know. Let's see if that mindset works out today. I just did not get much done yesterday. Being at home and traveling back to school and all my appointments just was not in the working mood. I do have one class today. It's just presentation, so it should be chill. I blocked out my calendar, so I know exactly what I'm going to be doing each minute while I'm here hogging this huge conference room by myself, but it's fine because there's literally no one here at the library at this hour. So this is what we're getting done today. Also dressed for the gym so that I can go straight to the gym as like a study break in between, maybe around noon. Got three hours to get a lot of things done here. Let's get to it. I'm also wearing my new hoops from Ana Luisa. So cute. Taking a little break by playing connections. I am usually so good at word games, but this one, this is hard. Is she hard at work or hardly working? <laughs> I'm here at lunch with Oga. Oh, that's so cool. All right, this is what I've been working on. This is all that I did today. I just made sketches. Every morning this week, actually, I've been waking up at like 7 a.m. And then today I woke up and I was so tired. Put on my skincare. And then I got back in bed and I took a nap. Happy Thursday, we made it four out of the five days of the week. I'm here in a conference room all by myself. I love working in this building. Such nice views, like isn't it beautiful? Campus is just so beautiful during the fall and the spring. It's been a slow morning today. Not every day I'm gonna be on top of things, so it's fine. I know I'm gonna get things done. <sighs> 
Actually, why don't I show you guys one of my projects that I'm working on, which is for my software engineering class for a final project. Basically, we're working with a group to create anything that we want. My group and I are creating some type of like academic planner. So this is what it looks like. This is what it currently looks like. And basically, the user can search up the course and then the results should come up here and then they can like drag it into like whatever semester they want to take it. And then ideally, this would update the progress bar for their degree completion percentage. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. <sighs> Although it's stressing me out. <laughs> okay, gotta go work on this. <sighs> I got matcha ice cream with mochi and strawberries on top. And then this is a matcha I just got back from breakfast with some friends. I am going to finish cleaning out my room. It is actually such a mess. Today, I am officially moving out from this dorm and finishing up my sophomore year at Brown, which is so sad. I've really enjoyed my sophomore year. This room has treated me well, even though I'm kind of excited to be moving out of here. It's just kind of like, as you can tell, a little, a little dark, a little musty. But here's how the current situation is looking. Yeah, not too cute. My dad is coming to pick me up in two hours. So let's clean up this mess.